Hi, my name is Alex with Data Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about screens, screen schemes, issue type screen schemes, and how it all comes together in your project. This is going to be a very quick tutorial, and I'm just going to give you exactly what you need to master this pretty complex thing in Jira. If you haven't already please consider subscribing drop a like if you get any value out of this video and if you have any questions comments or concerns let me know in the comment section below let's jump into jira okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to start down at the lowest level which is going to be your screen and then we're going to work our way up so you're going to start with your screen then we'll make a screen scheme and then we're going to associate that screen scheme to an issue type screen scheme and then that issue type screen scheme is associated to your project so if you're still kind of like, what the heck are you talking about? Let me show you with an example. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the little gear, go down to issues, and then on the left hand side, find yourself the screens. So click on there and we're just going to make a screen. Okay. And this is going to be a screen called, I don't know, we can call it whatever we want, but this is going to be a demo screen. Okay. Now, when you go this route, one of the disadvantages is that the screen is completely blank. And so required fields such as your summary, which has to be in every single issue, these will not come over. So you're gonna have to remember to add them. And so I sometimes recommend that it's just easier to copy an existing screen and just rename it. But in this particular case, I clicked on that screen and I made a whole new screen. I'm gonna stick to that, but just be aware that if you run into a problem, you can run into a problem where if you don't include a required field such as a summary, the jury is going to complain and you're going to have to come back in and add it in. So just wanted to give you a heads up here. Anyways, once it's created, you're going to go in and click into it and then you, you basically have a blank canvas. So this is where we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our summary and then we'll bring in common things like the assignee, the reporter, right? Your, your typical standard required fields. We can bring in the description. And then if you have any other custom fields that, that you want, you can bring those in too, or you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can bring in your story points, right? So you're kind of free to do whatever you need to do at this point and just build the screen however you want with whatever requirements have been given to you and add those in there. So now that I have a screen, now I have to go and create a screen scheme. And so to do the screen scheme, similar concept, right? Similar principle applies where it's easier if you just make a copy of an existing screen scheme or you can just make a completely fresh one. So I'm gonna make a new one just cause I've already departed the station with that method. And so I'm just gonna come over here, click on add screen scheme, give it a name, a demo screen scheme. And this is where the chicken and egg kind of situation happens. And this is why it was so critical that we did the first step first, because now here under default screen, it's asking me to pick my screen. And so you can see if you hadn't created the screen, then you wouldn't have the option to put this in here. So you'd have to hit cancel, you'd have to go back. And so do yourself a favor, follow my rules and just create the screen first and then let's go to the screen scheme. So once you have those done, you can click on add and essentially your screen scheme now has your screen associated. So when I click into it, it will say that I have a demo screen as my screen. Now the, the operations, if you recall from another video that I may have done, is, it was a live stream. Uh, you have three options. You have the create, you have the edit, and you have the view. And so you could, if you wanted to, create different screens that basically will alter the fields that are present, whether you're trying to create an issue, view an issue, or edit an issue. That's a little bit more of an advanced topic, but you can kind of see it here where you can pick which of these three operations you want to do, and then which screen is going to be associated to it. So. This is again a, very, a little bit more of a niche uh, topic, so let me know if you're interested in that. I can definitely cover that kind of an example. But I do have a, a live stream that you can check out where I do go over those details. Okay, so now that we have our screen scheme and we have our screen, now it's time to associate it to what's called an issue type screen scheme. And again, you want to you want to kind of do it in this order because if you would have started at the top and worked your way down, you would be missing things. So in this particular case we're ready to actually go into our issue type screen scheme and associate our fields here. So I'm going to come down over here to issue type screen schemes, click on that. And again, since I've already left this station, I'm just going to make a completely new one and I'll call it a demo issue type screen scheme. Now 
things can get, this is probably where things get the most trickiest because everything that I've done, the screens and the screen schemes, they're very one-to-one. -one. They're very much one screen gets a set of fields and the screen scheme kind of contains that. All of those fields and go into the screen and the screen goes into a container of screen schemes. This is where the issue type screen scheme can now hold a, is a container for a bunch of different screen schemes. And so you can see how this starts getting a little bit trickier to understand, but hopefully with this demo, you can kind of visualize that when you go to the issue type screen scheme, you have to go and call out your default screen scheme. Now, this is just simply the default fields that are essentially going to be shown for all of the issue types in your project. What makes this cool in a company managed project, you can define different fields to be on different issue types. And so you would start at the bottom with your screens and you would put all the fields that you want for a particular issue type there. And then you would put that into a screen scheme and that screen scheme goes into the issue type screen scheme. But in the issue type screen scheme, we are going to call out what issue type is impacted. By default, all the issue types get to whatever screen scheme you defined. But you have the option to associate whatever issue type is available in your Jira instance with whatever screen scheme you want. And so you can you may have noticed that out of the box, Jira comes with the bug screen and a default. And what this basically means is that Jira treats bugs separately. So bugs can kind of have their own fields defined and then everything else gets grouped together in a software company managed project. And so you can kind of take that further, make something for the Epic. As you can see here, I've done one for my Epics, right? Your tasks can get a different one, your subtasks can get a different screen. And so you can really, really fine tune what fields show up for which issue type. In this particular case, we're not worried about any of that stuff. We're just gonna leave the default because for this screen, I just want all my issue types to have the same fields. And typically you wouldn't, do this, like this doesn't make sense, but this is just an example of like the relationships. That's really what I was trying to cover in this video. Anyways, so the last step now is now that we have pretty much everything mapped, you'll see if I come back to my issue type screen schemes here that this part is blank. So we need to go and associate it to a project. So we're gonna do that next. And to do that, we're just gonna go into whatever project we want. And so I'm just gonna pick one. And I don't know, I'm just gonna pick one that I haven't used in a very long time. So I'll pick the standard template demo one. And I'm going to go to the project settings and within the project settings, I'll be able to come down to issues and under issues, I have screens. And so once I'm there, you'll notice that I'm in this FJC scrum issue type screen scheme. So all I got to do here is come over to the actions, use a different scheme. And now I'm going to select my new issue type screen scheme, a demo. And when you do that, everything will basically fall in line with the definition and that's it. So now when I hit create, I'm only going to have those very limited fields that I had defined and regardless of the issue type, they're all going to have the same fields. So that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully this made sense. I know that screen schemes and screens and all this other screen stuff is a little bit complex and I think it's more complex just because of all the screen schemes and issue type screen schemes and all the schemes in there, but it's really not that hard if you follow this order of starting with the screen and kind of working your way up like a babushka doll. So anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you got value out of it. And if you did, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed right now, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel out a lot. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And most importantly, if you have a different technique, let me know. I'd like to see and uh, maybe learn something new. But this is the technique that I've been using and it's worked really, really well for me. So anyways, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.